Good evening, myself and Post City. It's Thursday, 31st of May 2012. That's Zero Dudes, and today we're using a Yamaha kit to perform for our music assignment. Oh, I wonder if we can film it and put it on YouTube. I think we might be able to. I'll, 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 give, it, I'll give it a shout. A shout. Hey, Sam. What up? You excited for, for Saturday? Yeah, I Sam will be performing I my pants. with huh? the band Without Direction. Um, they've won 14 Grammys in the past week. So the teacher's going to give us the footage that we just shot um, from his camera and he's going to give it to me whenever he's done doing whatever he wants to do with that. Um, that wow, that sounds horrible. But um, yeah, that should be up <laughs> like in a week or so. But yeah, we're, we're, we've packed up the drum set, uh, the majority of it at least. We've got um, the bass drum of uh, one drum set and the snare drum, which sounds like sex, from... <laughs> and... Uh, this is the entire kit we have, except it's the wrong way around, and Anthony's a right-handed drummer. So we've, uh, we've established a solution to this problem. Perfect. Okay, here we go again. This is the third one we've had in the last half hour. Sean, Sean, no you're not. Start running, man. Start running, Start running. Run past the footies, man. Oh, you fucking... Oh. One on one. Oh, that was awesome. That's pretty sick there, Shane. Got a mad, got a mad dance battle going. If you're wondering, he hates all of us. He's trying to wrestle us, but he's failing miserably. Ending out just like this, they're just holding each other's forearms. Oh, here comes the rest of them. That's interesting. <laughs> Calling for backup because they're tight. Obviously, doesn't have one on one. <laughs> I've got a good, yeah, it's. Like, I should do a Ricky Benno, like, and, uh, and Shane Ball's got a, got a firm go on Scott Page there, coming up second. <laughs> this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. So, this stupid fuckwit is getting his ears pierced with, an, with a staple. <laughs> is it, did it work? In class, too, mind you. He's just... God, he's stupid. <laughs> so right now I'm watching this film called Don't Go Into The Woods. Um, it's confused me so far. Well, not really confused me, just kind of un uninterested me. Because, um... It seems like a really good plot. Like, the start of it. You know, it's all good. You know, it just kind of builds the story. But then it's that same thing, and I've been watching it for an hour now. But anyway, this is the first part that's actually amused me, just because I find it hilarious and I have a, an awful sense of humour. So I thought you might too. She got killed. Right, so now that movie's over, I've come to the conclusion of what the storyboard's about. Basically, it's a band that goes into the woods to write a song, but eventually a bunch of people show up, which isn't what um, one of the band members wanted, because he wanted a secluded area so he could more um, experiment with his writing techniques and or express himself. Now, the thing is, there were a bunch of people that showed up. He didn't like that. So once he start, once they started singing, in, uh, when they were alone, some guy in a suit killed them. But then, at the, like everyone, they killed everyone! So then he recorded a great song when everyone was dead. And he um, got really famous. Right. Yeah, I think I'll delete that now. So, I was about to say, Bye! But then um, I realised I have something else to show you. Camera. This is my camera. It's a Canon 550D. A uh, EOS DSLR camera. 
and I've got the 50mm lens on because it's a very nice lens. Carlos bought that for me. It's excellent. And you might notice something different about my particular EOS once you switch it on. I'll take off the lens cap just for added effect. Ooh, what's going on here? Everything's a bit different. I'll run you through that now. So for all those who aren't film nerds, please leave now because I'm about to go into some serious shit. Right here, I have the stuff on from my camera. I've just got it running from my camera into the big screen because I thought it would be nice. Turns out it really, really isn't, so I'm going to stop that now. And then I'm just going to use this screen. It's much, much nicer. And it makes me feel glad to be alive. So, up the top there, you might... Oh no, it turned off. It scared me a little. Okay, let's let's go. Come on. Come back. Here we go. Hey. Alright, so, up the top, you will notice the um, audio levels. There's a UV meter on here, which is pretty cool. Boop! 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 I can't seem to make a peek. There we go. Anyway, um... Let's run through a few features of this. Um, I've just got all the standard stuff down there. Actually, it says what type of lens it is or how zoomed it is. Right now, it's a fifty. Right now, it's a fifty mil down there because it's a fifty millimeter lens. It's at f dot one point eight. Actually, if you just tap this, it corrects itself. Um, it's at shutter speed of one thirty first of a second. ISO 400, and I've got it on custom white balance. Now, let's run through some other new things. Um, it is cropped, so instead of a 16.9 image, I'll be framing a 2.35 to 1 image, which looks rather nice, in my opinion. So then, instead of having this, which on YouTube is the entire frame, I would just have this. You know the kind of cinema bars, you know those? Yeah, I'll have those. So that's pretty cool. Um, the second thing you might notice is, say if I turn the ISO up a fair bit, notice that crap, like that um, weird kind of texture? That's called a zebra stripe. A zebra stripes are usually only available to professional video cameras, but now it's available here. It shows overexposure or underexposure in my case. Um, you see if I turn it right down. Will that happen a bit more? It might. No. Nothing's dark enough, but you get it. Anyway, I'm just going to have it at auto, auto, ISO. No, I hate everything when it's auto. Auto sucks. Yeah, there you go. Just in up, up in there. Up in that area right there, there's some zebra straps because it's too dark. Too dark for anybody to see. So then they'll be like, Oi, make it brighter. And then I'll be like, okay, try ISO 320. And then they're like, no, it's not good enough. Make the zebras go away. I hate them. No, screw it, 640. All right, now, another thing is the 69 in the middle. Lol. So that means how bright something is. If it's pure white, that means it's 100. And if it's pure black, it means it's 0. That's 3 percent that's you know 78 percent you get it that's how numbers work you also might notice it's flickering on that power cable over there that's what I like to call and what it's actually called focus assist basically it flickers on something because you're focusing on it it allows you to focus on stuff without doing that cool little zoomy thing that you can do on here um, you know oh that's that's pretty cool didn't know you could do that actually in the corner you see it's more zoomed in. Anyway, um, yeah, but yeah, um, that's flickering, and if I shift the focus up to the corner of my laptop, you'll notice that that flickers instead. <laughs> flicker, 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 dot, 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 dot. And then it just starts flickering there, and be like, okay, I've reached the point of focus, I can stop doing that now. Now, the other thing is this. You might be wondering what that is. That is what people call a histogram. Basically, it tells you what colors are on screen, so then you can white balance properly without being worried about it. You'll get a piece of white paper, or for this example, because I'm too lazy to find some paper, let's use the wall. So what we need to do is take a photo of the wall to white balance. I white balanced the wall last night to test it out, and you'll notice that all of them are pretty close together. That means the wall is white, and everything else will be in balance. 
oh wow, that focus. You know what we need for that? We need focus assist. You know what we also need? Two hands. That lamp has some flickering blue stuff on it, which is absolutely excellent. But yeah, if you've got an EOS camera, I'm pretty sure it works on every EOS from the 550D, you know, the 60D, 50D, um, 600, 660, um, 5, 5D Mark II. It's actually designed for the 5D Mark II. It does a, a really good job on that. And then it doesn't work on the 7D, actually, which, funnily enough, is one of the most popular EOS cameras that Canon produced. So I'm not sure why um, they, did, they didn't put it on there, but if you want it, it's called Magic Lantern. It was made for independent filmmakers who use DSLRs because it's a pretty powerful tool for not that, not that much. You know, the, um, uh, the 5D Mark II, which is around two or three thousand dollars, has a bigger sensor size than the Red One, which is a 4K camera priced around twenty thousand dollars. So yeah, it, it turns out pretty well. Now I think we're gonna go now. I'm boring you with specs. Actually, no, I told you to leave a while ago. Why are you still here? I'm not sure.